Go. Hi Phoenix students, it's Sarah Ransom in the Clayton kitchen. Um, I'm cooking today with Emma and we're going to be baking Rocky Roads. First, I need to wash my hands. Then we're ready for cooking. What ingredients do you have for your Rocky Road, Sarah? Well, first, I'm going to talk about the equipment that we need. We need scales. We need a tin, baking tin lined with parchment paper. We need a wooden spoon. We need a tablespoon, we need a teaspoon, and we need a big saucepan. What ingredients go in your Rocky Road? We have hundreds and thousands. There we go, lots of different colours. You could also use Smarties and other sweets that you have in your cupboard. We have cherries, we have vanilla essence, they smell lovely, Ooh. we have rice krispies, we have lots of different biscuits, even chocolate animals. You can use any biscuits that you have in your cupboard. We have butter. Oh, we have golden syrup. It's very runny and sticky. And we have raisins. What's the first thing we do to start it then? First we have to melt the butter. So put it into your saucepan. We need the golden syrup. Remember it's very sticky. Sarah's forgot to put the chocolate in, the most important ingredients. Right, so we need 400 grams. This is how we weigh them out. But I do like chocolate, so I'm sure that won't matter. Tip them into the bowl. Oh, look at that. That looks lovely. Now we need to heat them up and melt them all together. But we need an adult to help us with this bit because the cooker is very hot. So we need to put them on about a medium heat. I'm going to put mine on number four. And then I'm going to keep stirring until it all melts together. Oh, here we are. I think that's melted now all together. Looks, it's all mixed in and it's very runny. And it's hot. So I'm going to turn off and I'm going to take it to the table but I think an adult will need to do this for you because it's very very hot I need to now mix in all the other ingredients before my chocolate cools down so first I'm going to put my vanilla in I need one teaspoon of that. In it goes. I'll give it 
get a stir. Now I'm going to put my sweets in. Remember, these are hundreds and thousands, but you can use any sweets that you have. Colour in our sauce now. Um, next, I'm putting in whole cherries. Give it another stir. Now I've got my Rice Krispies, but you could use any cereal that you have in your house. Mixing it all in that lovely chocolate. Got to coat it all. Oh, now I've got all of my biscuits. Tip those in. To stir. Remember, the chocolate is still very hot, so you might have to get the adult to stir for you. In goes, lastly, the sultanas. Now I'm using milk chocolate, but you could use white chocolate or plain chocolate. You could use chocolate bars to melt in, whatever you like. Give it a good stir. Oh, look, it's not all stirred in properly yet. Got to be all coated in the chocolate. It's very messy, very sticky. Okay, I think that's all coated now. Now I need to let it set, so I'm going to put it into my container, my tin, lined with the paper, and then it's going to go in the fridge. So again, you'll need an adult to help you with this. So I'm going to put it in the middle, and spread it out right to the corners. After you've spread it to the corners and it's all flat in your tin, you can pop it into the fridge. Now I'm going to show you one I made earlier. Here we are. And you see I flattened it down with my spoon and put it to the edges and then I put it in the fridge to set. So tomorrow I'll be able to slice it up and then eat it, share it with my friends and family.